Good evening, everyone. Another one from a fresh case, too. 2018 Panini Diamond Kings Baseball. Pick your team number three from a fresh master case. This is, this is, a, this is a huge... There's two 12-box inners in here. Two 12-box inners. All right, so let's pop this open. Let's see which 12-box inner we're going to do. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Two, left side. The right side we will reserve for pick your team four. That's our last break. We don't have any more after this. No, you got it, EA. You, you, get, you guessed it right. You got left side. All right, so for pick your team, number three, good luck to these folks right here. On a Wednesday, thanks for hanging with us. Andy, Tigers, last spot mojo. Right, well, the Vegas Golden Knights beat the Kings. One nothing. I thought it might end up being a high scoring game, but So we have six boxes back there, six boxes right here, making the 12. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Get settled in, it's take about 45 minutes to an hour. Panini, Panini needs to quit making no logo baseball cards. So that means you're saying, just tell them no more baseball product, which I don't think they're gonna do. They're not intentionally doing that, GCL. They need the license, which they, they do not have. They have the player's license and not the MLB license. Which Topps has. Topps has both. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Francisco Mejia, the stud catching prospect. For the Cleveland Indians, that'll go to Karen with the tribe. Giancarlo Stanton. I believe these are somewhat shorter printed, so I'll just set those aside. The Otanis will sleeve up and top load all together later. They'll be they'll be a decent amount. Some more Otani there. Chris Sale, red frame. 
Shoeless Joe. Otani has a hitter. Uh, yes, same person bought all the angels, I believe. Let's set those right there. And Austin Hayes. Willie Mays Hayes? Guys remember guys remember Willie Mays Hayes? He uh, he hit leadoff for the Cleveland Indians a while ago. That goes to the O's, right? Yeah. That goes to Karen. And Willie Mays Hayes. How you doing? How you doing? My man. Different variation. I don't think we've seen one of those yet. It's pretty cool. Got old Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun, rookie signatures. Um, I forget. I think the Angels were like hundred something. There's Austin Hayes again, Nolan Ryan, and Frank Thomas. All right. Next box. You know what I realized? Someone should do, maybe it'll be me, someone should take all the all the fictional baseball teams, right, from from like Little Big League, like the Twins in Little Big League, the Cleveland Indians in Major League, the team in Angels in the outfield, the Cubs in Rookie of the Year. Yeah, we'll take teams like that, which are similar era teams too. Put them all together and then figure out what, what each of the players' stats would have been and how they would play against and then try to run some sort of simulation and see which teams would win out in a sort of tournament style format if there's enough teams. Be a pro that'll, that'll, that'll be a, a future project for, for us at Jaspies. <laughs> Raphael Devers. And nice, Ricky Henderson. 25 out of 25. Dual relic and autograph for the Oakland A's. Scott V with the A's. Nice, Scott. What is that? Is that a piece of a baseball or a glove or something like that? Game used material though. That's pretty sick. Nice. There's Francisco Mihi again. Different variation. The black and white. Mejia again. And 18 out of 25, Eric Fed. The out of 25s on a much thicker cardstock. Jesse Rager with the Nationals. Uh, 
got Harry Walker for the cards. Ultra Pro. There we go. Jackie Robinson for the Dodgers. Skoron. Moose Skoron. It's a great name. Next box. A's are still scoring runs. 10 4 now. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Dodgers released Trace Thompson towards the end of spring training just a week or so ago. Then I think he got he got picked up by by the Yankees on waivers, placed on waivers again, and then got picked up by the Oakland A's. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Trace Thompson and Clay Thompson get to hang out together, I guess. You think Trace has said, "Hey, I'm with the A's now. Can I crash at your place?" While I, you know, while I go looking, go apartment hunting. Clay, Clay Thompson's like, sure. You can come over and watch some basketball too. All right, we got it's an Eric Fed kind of day. One forty-eight out of two ninety-nine, two color dual relic, and autograph for Jesse. That's your Trace and Clay Thompson news of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Clemente for the Pirates. JD Martinez, grand slam for him today. In a losing effort. And Shohei Otani, DK Materials. It's the first relic I think we've seen of Shohei Otani in a, in a lot of our baseball breaks. Player used, I wonder if it's like a, some press conference or something like that. Nice one for Michael and the Angels. Nick Williams to 49, the Mick. And Paul DeYoung, red frame. Syndergaard. Mets off to a hot, hot start. Otani portraits. Clint Frazier for the A's, black and white. Yeah, EA was suggesting, hey, maybe I should buy a box or two of Diamond Kings just to get just to get uh, these Otani parallels, which could sell, I don't know, anywhere from, EA was saying earlier, what, eight to $30? I'm assuming some of like the nickname ones, maybe shorter printed and blah, blah, blah. But, I feel like every box, I mean, we'll have to, be, you know, I can't, I don't remember for sure, but I feel like every box has had at least one Otani card of some sort. There may have been one or two, maybe in the previous case where I was just like, I was like, wait a second, there was no Otani card in there, but...
Oh, GCL was mad. Uh, sorry, I missed that, John. You were saying that you were mad they wouldn't let Charlie Sheen run out while playing Wild Thing. All right, it was for the World Series like a, a couple years ago, right? I don't know. Maybe it would have been a distraction. He should have done it, though. Hey, bartender. Joe Boo needs a refill. And then the bat just goes... Raphael Devers. Cameron Gallagher. That's kind of crazy that your cable company did that, EA. Your internet would seem fine, though. Nice Brandon Belt. One out of five. Good patch. Nice auto. Giants. Matt Appleby. A little Oppo Joe Mojo. All aboard. The Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Never developed quite the power that you thought of. Dude, 6'5", 220? Never quite developed that power. That This concussion issue is a bit worrisome as well. There's Ahmed Rosario to 99. There's old Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson Day coming up. And the Mick, Mickey Mantle. Anyway, EA, the, yeah, it's crazy that your cable company, there was like the hockey, West Coast hockey game was still on. That West Coast basketball game was still on. Kind of crazy that they would do that. Artist proof to 25. Paul Blackburn for the Oakland A's. There's Mad Bum. And Clayton Kershaw, two color dual relic. Oh, did I miss an, did I miss an Otani in there somewhere? Oh, wait, that was this pile. Oh, was it that one, or was it a different one? Oh, there's hitter Otani right there. Got it. Oh, Spectrum just bought Time Warner in your your neck of the woods. I think I mixed up. Oh, those will get sleeved up. All right. Um, yeah, uh, the, that sale went through, what, last year, I think, for us? So they've been really, they've been just gobbling up Time Warner. But yeah, that sale went through in California last year I think and um, so how's the weather there EA EA is on a little uh, golf trip should we put should we put pennies on that what day is today Wednesday I think I might have to do it by tomorrow. Oh, that sounds that sounds beautiful. Sixties. 70s this weekend. Possibility of rain on Sunday.
I wonder if the, if, if the tiger hype is finally over. Although he might, he might do well in a course like that. Jack Flaherty's supposed to be an uh, up-and-comer. Oh, he's not there. There's my boy Alex Verdugo, dual relic. Dodgers keep hitting like this, they may have to call up Alex Verdugo. Dodgers with that one. Their Dodgers are down 10 to four. Running out, running out of innings. There's Roberto Clemente. Course is too narrow. I have no idea how to handicap golf. I, I mean, I, I felt like such a. I am a square better, but I was definitely square betting for the Masters just because. Although Patrick Reed was a good call. Um, just because Masters one of the most nice out of 99 artist proof Otani. Uh, Masters are one of the most uh, heavily bet golf matches of, of the entire year. It's like, it's like Super Bowl for golf. I don't think I don't think the US Open does I think Masters does better than US Open for bookmakers handle wise. But aside from just like basics like where I'm just like you know has this person won on this course before? But if it's like narrow course, I don't I don't know. We got Marcus Stroman. Wow, nice Marcus Stroman. Nice patch, nice auto. One out of 20. I need Marcus Stroman. He's on my fantasy team. I need him to... I need him to... be a little more consistent, I think. He's got some talent. All right, Blue Jays. Tyrone with a nice Blue Jays hit. The year Spieth won the Masters, he gets a commitment to play in South Carolina next week. You respect him for that. Oh, right, because after the Masters, are you saying that most guys are like, "Hey, I'm tired. I'm gonna bail on, on the, on the, I'm gonna bail on the tournament the next week." I guess it's pretty soon after. That's cool. Yeah, they go to the talk shows and then take it easy, right? That's kind of cool of Jordan Speed. He's just like, yeah, I'll go. I'll go and play. Speed is pretty young, right? I think him and Ricky Fowler, I think, are pretty young and pretty popular. I didn't, I didn't realize how controversial Patrick Reed was until I started. And I guess now that I think about it, how he got, how he got expelled from college and stuff, like I, it started to filter back into my head. It's like, oh, yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> that I think was just – it was just a weird situation. I feel like there's a lot of he said, she said stuff going on, but – But, yeah, that was, there was like some weird – weird thing going on there. I think he was accused of stealing from his teammates or something like something something weird. Or maybe like I think he likes to he likes to have a drink. There's Joe DiMaggio, Jolton Joe for EA and the Yankees. That is true. Yeah, he, he Speed is young so he he can't turn around and play another 
Another four rounds, right? Uh, underage drinking, but there were then there was like some weird, weird stealing charges. Is that true? Hi, Rex. Is that true? Stealing condoms? No, it's it, it. He must. I think he was stealing something a little more significant from teammates. There's JD Davis. Not sure what it was, but. But, oh yeah, cheating in class, I think, was one of them, too. Some academic violations. Yeah, which is, which is weird. I was like, they're not going to kick him out for that. Two-color, dual relic, Andrew Stevens. Family show EA. If if I have to explain to parents about that, I'm going to direct them. I have your number. I'm going to direct them right to your phone number. We'll let you explain that. <laughs> Forty-seven out of ninety-nine. I think those kids are in bed anyway. It's too late for them. Too late for the kids. Should be fine. The Hawk. That's a surprise. Who has the Cubs? EA Sports. It's in the game. There's the Hawk. I'm reading. Uh, I'm read. I'm audio booking. I'm not reading. I'm reading. Ned Coletti's former Dodger GM, former Giants executive, former uh, former Cubs. Um, front office guy as well. He said that one of the classiest guys in baseball is Andre the Hawk Dawson. Just said super nice, super classy. And and just rakes. We got we got to look at Andre Dawson highlights after this. I'm going to leave Andre Dawson right here to remind me to look up Andre Dawson highlights. Yeah, he's got a great autograph as well. Always a, always a treat. He's got a classy autograph. I think uh, I, I am way too young to appreciate Andre, da Andre the Hawk Dawson. So let's, we're going to look up some highlights after this. For the kids out there. We're still awake. We're gonna we're gonna educate you on Andre Dawson. Remember they used to have stats on the back of baseball cards. Jose Ramirez, Tribe. Giancarlo Stanton, still uh, Marlins edition in this one. 77 out of 99. Ah, nice, Rex. That's a that's a worthy that's a worthy uh, project. Rex is saying he's like, so Joe, I'm gonna be selling most of my Nolan Ryan autos and cards so you can get a rookie. Then you're going to get a 69, a 70, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You want to leave the collection for the kids, so you want to leave them with – I, I like that. Like a, maybe like a nice graded – there's Reese Hoskins, black and white. Like a nice graded one from his rookie year and then just keep going. There's Ben Benintendi, sepia. Cody Ballinger. I like that idea. From all like the main top sets. I guess there's only really only one back back in the day. Derek Fisher. Uh, 
dual relic and autograph out of two ninety nine. I would uh I would even grade all of them too, just to have them in a nice nice encased. Paul Wayner. Um you know what? I we did see it. Someone mentioned it to me too, that the Red Sox Yankees fight. Uh, I did not see I did not see the uh, the pitch that someone threw at someone. That I didn't see. But I did see the hard slide into second, which didn't seem that hard to me. But it was a, but there was some jawing back and forth that was enough to unload the benches. But then someone, someone, I think Sam or Golden or something like that said that uh, someone threw at someone, and then that precipitated some fights as well. So, probably just being babies. Not like the old days when uh, when Juan Marichal was taking a baseball bat to the head of John Roseboro. You know? So, not like those days. I don't remember that day, but I'm sure some people do. Right, we're about halfway there, folks. We're getting there. We're getting there. Dodgers still bleeding runs. 12-4 now, A's in L.A. How are they scoring all these runs? All right. Aaron Judge, Sepia, Red Frame. Reyes Moranta. Is this going to be the Pirates here? No, I don't think so. Sorry, Steel Curtain. Earmuffs. <laughs> no, I don't think it's going to be. They're playing They're playing some good baseball, though. That's for sure. But I think across a 162-game across a season, I don't know what's going to happen, but... I think that's got to be encouraging for for uh, Pirates fans to know that they still have a good core. There's Corey Kluber. If you think about it, though, you know, no disrespect to Andrew McCutcheon or or Garrett Cole, but I don't know. It's not like Garrett Cole was lighting it up, you know. And it's been a minute or two. It's been a minute or two since uh, since Andrew McCutcheon was in his prime, you know. So I don't think it was that. Everyone kind of freaked out. It's like, oh, there they go, gone. Garrett Cole gone. They're reselling everything. They're selling off the team, and they're they're tearing it down for for like a like a Cubs or Astro style rebuild. And blah 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 blah. I actually don't think that's happening. There's Matt Olson. 283 out of 299, two color, dual relic and autograph. Is Matt Olson killing the Dodgers? No, Matt Olson pinch hitting, two for three. Olson. Really, Garrett Cole has 22 Ks in two starts? Well, good for him. Hopefully his arm doesn't fall off. <laughs> I think the health has been a bit of an issue, and I think just really, um, you know, I think he was going to be a free agent, right? Within a year or two, so Pirates kind of had to move him. I don't think he would see Garrett Cole was going to be in their long-term long plans.
Yeah. I mean, listen, if you're the Pirates, you know, you don't want to sign Garrett Cole with an injury history for now Astros could afford to do that. They they got the prospects and they just need him for, you know, a short a, sm a much smaller window than than the Pirates do. Um because of, you know, the Astros have a great farm system and all that. So they need him for a much smaller window. But I think the, the Pirates have a decent farm system too. They've got some guys coming up the ranks that I think could be could turn out to be players, you know. And Pirates can spend a little money too. You know, they're, they're I would not consider them a small market team. But they, they can spend money if they had to. So they, they can surprise with a big free agent move or two in the next couple years. So can the Phillies. So can the Braves. It'll be pretty interesting to see how those teams play it. All right, next box. Rolling along nicely. Are you keeping track, EA? I feel like there's like, what, five, six Otanis per box or something like that? And if you're lucky, like a lower number. Miguel Andujar, nice. Rookie auto for the Yanks. That goes to EA. I have him on fantasy team too. Yeah, I think the Cubs and Dodgers will be just fine, Rex. I think the it's a little frustrating just to see that kind of slow start, but, but I think the Dodgers need to get some of their pitching in order. I think Justin Turner not being in the middle of that lineup has kind of affected them. The Mick. Nice one there. Yeah, Colin Moran is pretty solid. They also have, um, I like James and Ty on a lot. And Tyler Glass now was a little, uh, was a little rough last half of the year. But I think they got him working out of the bullpen for the time being and he's, He's filling in pretty well. I think they're going to eventually stretch him out to pitch, to start. There's Ryan McMahon. So I can definitely see that happening. So that's a pretty good front line. Kind of a solid one and two. Rocky's relic going to Tyrone. So I think the Pirates are a little bit closer than, than we think. Nice Otani. That'll be a randomizer. Artist Proof, Joe DiMaggio, Otani. All sorts of things in this box. Trout, Honus. Wow. So nice Otani insert. The DiMaggio for EA and the Yankees, 25 out of 25, Artist Proof. Remember 1941? I mean, the hit streak, of course. But uh, and we talked about this last night. He had 13 strikeouts the entire season. The entire season. That wasn't even the best strikeout performance either. <laughs> I think one. there was another guy who had 12. And him and that, him and that other guy, whoever the other guy was, um, I think they had... They had one of the best strikeout percentages, too. I think Joe, I think DiMaggio's strikeout percentage in 1941, probably a lot of his career, like 2.5% or something like that. So there were a few guys who had like a two point whatever strikeout percentage. And then the re the other guys after that was like 4.5 5% strikeout percentage and now look at some ball players today if they don't strike out a third of the time like 30% you know managers are happy just the game has changed basketball has more three point shots smaller game smaller guard
fast things changing in basketball. Football has changed a lot, rules wise. Yeah, I think it was a little bit better than than Dom Dimaggio. Although, although no, come on, no disrespect to Dom Dimaggio, EA. I think he was a starting outfielder for the Red Sox for a minute or two. He was okay. I think Dom Dimaggio carved out a okay career, but. Astro, uh, flawless. Well, I only see one order coming in, so that that doesn't encourage. It's not an encouraging sign that we're gonna do flawless. This break will be o over in about ten minutes, and that'll put us at the bottom of this hour, which leaves me with half an hour left in this broadcast. It pretty much has to sell out in the next fifteen, next fifteen twenty minutes, or else this will be the last break of the night. So if you want to keep going, folks, even if we go a little late, I'm down. Sports Jeopardy. Nice. Oh, you, you might. Uh, I might say later for the Sports Jeopardy. I don't know if everyone can hear it, but. Jersey Kings, Marcel Ozuna. I was wondering when this was going to come out. NBC Sports. Jersey Kings, Marcel Ozuna. Still Miami edition on this. That'll go to Tyrone with the Marlins. I think my dream job, folks, besides this one, Besides this one would be uh, hosting Sports Jeopardy. I th still think I can do both without having to give up one or the other. Oh, damn. Oh, no, that was, hadn't started yet. 4 out of 25, Andrew Bantendi, Artist Proof. No, I can't get the volume from here. Is it just that bad of an angle? Come on, angle. Come on, angle. Don't get that angle. Paul Whitlock with the Red Sox. Tops. Oh, upper deck. Damn it. Tag up. I don't know. All the college, I would never do well in sports jeopardy because of the college stuff. Dustin Fowler autograph going to Scott V and the A's. How's Dustin Fowler doing against my Dodgers today? I don't think he's playing. Dodgers still down 12-4. Second to last box. Good luck, folks. I'm trying to play Sports Jeopardy at the same time. I don't think it's going to work. where they tape Sports Jeopardy. It must be around here. I think Dan Patrick's radio show, is it out of LA? No, it must not be out of LA. Maybe, but maybe this show is out in here in LA. Ah, EA's looking for the, for the Mickey Mantle cut auto. I feel like that'd be, that'd be an easier chase in like flawless baseball. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everyone. Herb Hanock. 
Ichiro for the Marlins. Tiki. 44 out of 99, dual relic and autograph, Mikhail Franco. Part of that, uh, part of that young Philadelphia core for Jeremy Tillman, Phillies. Bryce Harper, Sepia, how much is he gonna get paid? Lob. Otani. Ryan Sandberg for the Cubbies. That's uh, that's out of ten. EA, two out of ten. Ryan Sandberg, bit of that Cubs pinstripe in there. Game used material as well. Nice piece of Rhino. Alex Bregman for the Strohs. It'll be for Paul Cool Whit. 76 out of 99, gray frame. Big Hurt. Nickname, variation. Joe DiMaggio again, another artist proof out of 25. That's where all those Joe DiMaggios were. Goes to EA. It's in the game. I'll give you a Babe Ruth, too. Hear the question. The last time two teams from the same state squared off in the Super Bowl was when these two teams did it in 1995. Quick. I, I honestly don't remember. 95. From the same state? Who was in the Super Bowl in 95? New York Giants and Buffalo Cowboys, no. That guy guessed Niners Raiders, incorrect. Cowboys and Oilers, incorrect. Wait, no one remembers this? Niners and Chargers. That's correct. Charger, that's right. The last time two teams played this from the same state played in the Super Bowl was in 1995. That was the last time. That was Chargers... San Diego Chargers and the Niners. I don't think I remember that even, even happened. Nice, more sports jeopardy. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. We made it. There's four. Big Poppy. We got Freddie Freeman. Gray frame, 24 out of 99 for the Braves. EA with the Bravos. Let's play two. Otani. Hack Wilson. More Otani. Mm -hmm. 
Manny Machado. Original materials. A couple pieces of his lumber for Karen and the O's. Game use material. And we've got Daryl Evans. Eight out of ten. Braves. Goes to EA along with this Mick. He also has the Yankees. And the last bit. Ted Lyons, Orlando Cepeda, Jim Bottomley, Bobby Thompson, shot heard around the world, and KB, Chris Bryant. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team number three in the books at 51 minutes and 30 seconds. That's a good time. That's a good time. Thanks, everybody, for getting into pick your team number three. Let's do a quick randomizer right here. So Yankees and Angels, that was the uh, Mickey Mantle and Mike Trout past, present, past and present card. Ten times, six and a four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Flips to the Yankees. That goes to EA with the Mick, the Trout. A couple legends right here. JaspiesHobbyland.com. We've got one more Pick Your Team left in the store, and that is it. So pick your teams, and we'll get another one knocked out probably tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. JaspiesHobbyland.com.